continue our Texan travels, I realized that there's something wrong with George's head. A Texan without a cowboy hat is like imagining a person walking outside without wearing any underwear. A Brit doesn't need a hat, but for someone with a perpetually bad hair day... It's helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Pleasure. For you, okay. No, I think you need a hat. How's that? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, hi. Hi, how are y'all? Good, yes. thank you. Uh, so yeah, we're, okay. yes, we're shopping for some hats. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I think they all look fantastic. There's so many of them, that's uh, yeah. hard to be Hi. Joel, nice to meet you. Joel, nice to meet you. Made. Oh, yes. Texanize another one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially <laughs> this guy. He's, he's English, so we really yeah, gotta yeah, texanize okay. him. Got, got a lot of work. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you just feel that you just Usually, feel that. Uh, yeah, if I don't have a sutras tape, it also works better because my hands are the eyes. I see. So, so it's not just the size. It's actually the height, height and the different taper. Well, my head looks smarter than your head. My head has got more character. Look at it. <laughs> Look how all these are so great. So these are all original blocks. Right. 80 to 100 years old. So a hat is important enough that somebody will actually pass it on like property. Mm -hmm. The hat ask actually distinguishes a person's personality. So what does your hat say about exactly. you? Exactly. I'm not staring at it. Yeah. This is actually a knife. Whoa! Uh, it actually is actually a real knife. Ooh. And this is to keep the hat cool when I'm wearing it indoors. Yeah. Shaved in the stars. Yeah. So yeah. And this is solid silver with brass. And then inside I have my little pet. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> okay. Now it's ready for me to pounce it. Okay, here we go. Pounce it. So they curled it up. Mm. And they could actually rope and wouldn't get in the way. And then grab the iron. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can see David's face. David give me a little look. Say, oh, watch this. Watch her. How heavy is this? Heavy lifting done. Now to try the finished product. How you like that? Ooh, I like it. Feels. Very nice. He's a fan. Definitely. Yeah. You've got a nice smile over here. Mm-hmm. Why, well, thanks. Yeehaw! <laughs> Where are you? I'm over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big hat you got there. Oh, thank you. So, uh, I've sat on a horse, I've ridden a horse, done cattle ranching, I've sat on a bull. You got a hat? I've got a hat. I've done the complete Texan cowboy experience, okay. haven't I? Now I just need to shoot you. Now you just need to shoot me. Bill Jenkins. What do you mean by shoot me, exactly? <laughs> I'm the Orient Express, the fastest gun in the West. Well, I think the barrister will have something to say about that. The barrister? Yeah, they ran out of names and the human target was taken. Hello, sir. Explosives, scary. Yeah, okay, so everybody here actually has real guns. Including me. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Yeah. Where's your baby? You're my baby. Yeah. <laughs> Quadruplets. They are our babies. All right, here's the jail cell. County jail. Bill. You know, this is the last stage, and we're about to find out who is the better marshal. Loser spends the night here, I reckon. Looks comfortable. I'm ready to go. Good luck. What'd I do? Don't surrender yet. <laughs> You're comfortably here. Oh. Do I need to bring my gun? <laughs> Where's your rifle? All right, my rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well Janet holds up under pressure. Okay. I've never seen her so focused. <laughs> Seventy-five. That is the time okay. to beat. How you doing? 
Okay, look at the bed. It looks really nice. Says right there. Doesn't matter about the time. She's trying to trace me. That's right, George. A shooting competition requires focus. One slip up and... Wait, wait. <laughs> it was six, I'm going to jail. What happened? I have a better shot. That's what No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. I, I, something happened with my rifle. There was a, there was a, there was a technical malfunction sure, with my rifle. Sure. Blame the rifle. That hurt. The shotgun and the cheek hurt. You know what hurts more? Losing to her. <laughs> oh, he's in pain. Orient Express. Oh, that is yeah. nice. Yeah. I can do that. Would you do that? Oh, oh, I, don't know. Oh, I don't know. He gets to finish. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I, might, I might miss. I might miss. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at this. I can do it. Thank you very much. Winning sure makes a girl hungry. And they say the city of Lockhart is the barbecue capital of Texas. We're happy to test that claim by stuffing our faces like a couple of carnivorous Pac-Men. So we hear this is the, uh, the barbecue capital? That's correct. Uh, it's barbecue capital of Texas. Oh, wow. Already, look at the line. Are you all in line waiting to get barbecue? Yeah. Ooh, and yeah. it goes all the way around. Oh, wow. Whoa. Well, I recognize this hat. Well, hi. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Very good. This is a brisket. Yeah. Each uh, each cow has uh, two briskets on it. We have found that the Angus cow makes the best briskets, the most flavorful, the most yeah. tender. All right. This is our uh, family dry rub that we've used for uh, 82 years. Huh? Just kind of evenly get it on there. Okay. And rub that in there. Now, okay. now, let me know if it's too hard. Yeah. If you want a little bit softer. <laughs> How is this right here? Oh, there's a sore spot right there. Let me rub that face. here. Let me... Let me uh, oh, no, did you... Oh, <laughs> thank goodness she took her gloves off. I thought she was going to, like, dry rub me and then shove me in the pit. Oh! We just hit the mother load now. It's like a treasure chest here opening. Oh, my God. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, it's heavy. Put it right up there. It's right. very heavy. Oh, my goodness. And you Start said you up. make 500 pounds here a day, minimum. Yeah. Minimum, yes. Sometimes we use the pit several times in a day. Wait, yeah. now, 12 to 15 hours, how does that not just dry up everything or, you know, burn it all up? Well, we cook it low and slow at a low temperature for a long amount of time. Mm -hmm. That's done. Yeah. Okay, but then back here, it's harder. Oh, yeah. Now, make the thermometer. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I want to taste it. Yeah. Here's the man. Right, so this is for me. What's George gonna eat? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking we could share, but maybe not. We could I'm not share. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's this. Oh, this is so right. good. Yeah, that's from the part of the cow uh, where the ribeye steak is. Oh. So it's very close to a, a ribeye steak. Okay, look at that. Oh, what, do you, what do you call the bone? Uh, I call it mine. <laughs> It's okay, take the boat. I'm taking the Dinosaur rib. Yeah. Dinosaur. Yeah. Thank you. Who's Norma Jean? My parents are of second generation, and then I'm third generation, along with my wife, Candy. Mm -hmm. And then our son, Barrett, is fourth generation of Rice Barbecue. So you're a very well-fed family. Yeah. 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 You leave here hungry, it's your own fault. Yeah. yeah. And we stay here until what year was it? About eight or nine years ago. Yeah. Yeah, they were working well into their 80s. Right? Yeah. So the smoke preserves you. Yes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Low and slow. Keep Low and slow. Yeah. 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 Now, take it from me. The best way to work off Texan barbecue on this scale is to dance like a Texan. After leaving no leftovers, Janet and I put on our dancing shoes and I learn how to take the lead. Yeah, yep. let's get started. Yike. Oh, wow. Chuck it like that. Carefree. This is. <laughs>
dangerous. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> well, hello, lady. Step together, step together, side. Step Just like together, that. Step That's together, right. Side. I guess in Texas, everyone's more used to their own hat space, yeah. personal hat well, space. Well, that's why you'll see my hat's kind of cocked to the side. So oh, usually, right. oh, okay. you can tip it to the side a little bit like that. A little tip from the and pros. A little vice versa there. Okay. So, so now you can get a little closer. So you know if a lady doesn't want to dance with you, if She's a hat like is just like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she juts it right at yeah. you, you're probably. Okay, you use your right hand. Oh is your guide. I thought you were just trying to undo my bra. <laughs> That's what I thought was going on. Oh, I'm still saying the lines. One, two, back. <laughs> okay, let's try not saying the line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. What? Oh. The Broken Spoke Dance Hall has been serving up large slices of honky-tonk music since the early 60s. And you can tell from the clientele here that this place is truly one of the most authentic Texan dance halls that you'll ever have the fortune of two-stepping into. So get your boots on and get dancing. Obviously, it's That's right, you heard me. We are about to see what comes out from the other end in an Austin pastime. Chicken bingo. Hey, and your number's going to be handwritten on the back of that ticket. Lucky number, lucky number. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, that's right, folks. Bingo. Well, there's only one number that matters, the number two, or a number two, to be precise. Quick, 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 you take it. Go, 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 go,